and you listen to the church. And I don't like criticizing preachers, but unfortunately some of the solutions we put out there, frightening people with death, frightening people with prophecy, frightening people with it, and just, just putting, complicating the sense of inferiority and powerlessness and weakness that we feel. So when will the African ever rise up and say, I can do it? When every time he feels there is something chasing him to destroy him. How can you ever be confident? When somebody says he's had a dream of you and you, you won't survive the year. How can you plan for next year? How can you plan for 10 years? How can you have a long range vision when people are trying to limit our ability to even think for 10, 20, 40 years? So here we are. A people imprisoned by our own culture. And unfortunately imprisoned by religion. So how do you solve it? Some people say that Christianity is part of the problem. And in a sense, yes. But you know, when you are bitten by a snake, and you are poisoned by a snake venom, the only cure to a snake venom is the snake itself. You have to create anti-snake serum from the snake's bite to purge what happened first. So if we think that our problems are spiritual, then it's going to take a new spiritual formation, a new spiritual understanding to solve our problems. I believe that is what ICGC exists for. We are here as an antidote. And that is why you will never come here and hear me say anything that will make you feel that you live here you should be in fear that there is a demon running after you listen we are already running we don't need anything to chase us we are already running we don't need anything to help us in running we are already running I'm not going to come and tell you it's your father house or a demon and, 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 and all kinds of things and, and you can't do it and you have short to live and you, you can't survive and you have to come to me to pray for you before things work. Who am I? Who am I? To hold your destiny in my hand. You are bigger than my hand. You are created in God's image. You have an assignment from God himself. Bigger than any pastor. Bigger than any preacher. That's your destiny. And if you go for people to imprison you in your small mindedness, then you are the problem. Because believe you me, you choose what you eat and you should choose what you listen to. Yeah! You must choose it! There are certain things you must say to yourself, I'm not going to listen to that because it doesn't edify me. If I bring you a bag or I invited you to a buffet of cockroaches and I tell you this was made by the world's number one chef and you see cockroaches are on the buffet and the chef is saying, yeah, I'm the world's number one and I cook for uh, this and I cook for the queen. Hey, you can cook for whoever. You can cook for whoever. As for cockroaches here, I won't eat because I have a choice what I eat. So why do you act as if you have no choice what you listen to, what you feed your mind on, what you read? Because if you don't act and take responsibility for the things that feed you, you will be depressed. Believe you me, we are fighting battles that are serious. In Ghana, right after payday, poverty is chasing you, right after payday. You know, some years ago, 
poverty waits till the middle of the month to chase you. Now it starts chasing you right per day. Poverty is chasing you. You just got paid and the poverty is chasing you. You have hardship. Why do you complicate your problems and listen to things that are designed to put fear in you? You already have problems. You are running from behind. Why do you want to put cement blocks around your feet? But that's what we do. And people say, well, he's a man of God. Yeah, he can be a man of God, but not for you. Let those who believe they are designed to be imprisoned in fear, listen to that person. But if you believe you are designed to rise, to run, and to soar like an eagle, then you have to determine, this will not work for me. Choose your future, choose your life, choose what you think, choose what you feed your mind on.